Should I carry my speech draft or a book when I go on stage? Should I read from it or should I memorize everything? What should I do if I forget something? Have you had all these questions in your mind? Well, if your answer is yes, then watch this video for next 5 minutes because I am going to share a technique which will help you with this. Hey there, I am Nancy Isha. I am a trainer, I am a public speaker. I also work as an anchor for different corporate social events. I have recently started an initiative, Speaker Circle. It's a platform where we help people improve their public speaking skills. And in today's video, I am going to share few tips which will help you improve your public speaking skills and your appearance on stage. So let's get started. I have observed many people when they go on stage, they carry either the size of a book or the size of a paper now of course you have two options first one is when you go and use a podium now when you rest this on a podium of course it's not visible but yes it's evidently visible that you're reading and referring to something and that's something i don't prefer much secondly when you go on stage without using a podium and if you carry something like this it is difficult to move and give hand gestures at the same time if you forget something you have to go through a certain page and it takes time to get to the point and your audience is able to see it that's not bad you can do that but again i don't prefer it personally so in today's video i want to suggest you an option through which you would be able to do this very easily and it would not look bad on stage if you have watched any reality show or TV show, you would have observed that the anchor of the show or the host of the show generally uses something like this. It's a sort of a cue card or a point card. On one side of a card, there is a logo or a graphic which is evidently visible and that is a good sign. It will help your audience remember your name or a brand. At the same time, on the other side, it's a blank space where you can write something, you can write your pointers, you can highlight something, whatever you want to mention. And the good part is your audience won't be able to see this. It's only visible to you. There is no specific size for this, but I generally use the 5 by 7 cue card. You can easily get it printed from any good printers. If you don't want to get anything printed like this, you can simply use a chart paper and cut it into 5 by 7 and use it in that manner. And if at all you don't want to use the chart paper, you can generally simply take an A4 size paper, divide it into 4 pieces and you can use it for your cue cards. Once you have your cue cards ready in your hands, now you can start writing your pointers. So take a cue card and use this space to write anything that you wish to. Remember one thing, do not write long sentences because you will really not have time to read through it. What you can do is write simple pointers. Write in a big and clear font. It should be visible to you. If you want to mention any specific data or names of specific people, you can write that too. You can highlight them using different color combinations so that it is very much evidently visible and readable to you. If at all you are using this blank pages cue card, still do not write on both of the sides. Write on one side of a card only so that it doesn't become difficult for you to read. Secondly, do not use a stapler. Do not staple your cue cards. Instead of that, try giving his number card number one, card number two, card number three. You can create as many cue cards as you want. Let's say for example, for this speech, I'm using three, four cue cards. That's fine. Once I have all my cue cards ready, leave your speech draft aside. And now you need to practice with help of these cue cards. So stand in front of a mirror or practice alone or practice in front of your family member and refer to these cue cards while you are practicing. What will happen eventually is, this will get scanned in your mind and you will be able to memorize your major points very easily and there will be one point where you will keep talking and cue cards will keep moving automatically once you reach at that point you can try not to use cue card and just go on stage without it as well 
Now, once you go on stage while using these cue cards, it has good benefits. Point number one, it looks professional and your logo will be clearly visible to your audience as well. Secondly, it doesn't hamper you having hand gestures. You'll be able to move your hands and connect with your audience very easily. And point number three, you can change your cue cards as you move ahead in your speeches. So, if at any point, if you forget something, you'll be right there at that specific cue card. You can just have a look and read a point and go ahead and continue with your speech. Personally, I do not prefer to use podium when I go on stage. I like to stand in the center and talk to my audience. And when I do that, these cue cards are my best friends because they help me give a fluent talk. I'm sure this will be helpful to you. Try when you go on stage next time and give speeches. You can use this in your presentations as well. I hope this video has been useful to you. If yes, then do share your experiences in the comment box. You can like and subscribe our YouTube channel as well and you can share this video with your friends and family members. And do not forget to tag Nancy Shah and Speaker Circle whenever you post it on social media. One more thing, you can also be part of Speaker Circle. It's a platform where we are helping people improve their public speaking skills. If you want to be part of our online meetings, you need to fill up a Google form. You'll find the link in the description. So fill up the Google form and be part of our initiative. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.